Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you guys a guide of Jungle Shaco. And uh, first off, I'm just going to start with Shaco. Uh, so, his pro or his uh, passive, I guess, sorry. Not his primary, I've been playing too many games. So his passive ability is Shaco deals 20% damage, bonus damage, when striking a unit from behind. His next move is Deceive. Shaco becomes invisible. This lasts for three and a half seconds and teleports to a target location. His next attack is guaranteed to critically strike. Jack in the Box. Shaco's creates an animated Jack in the Box at a target location, which will wait invisible to fear nearby enemy units and attack them when some when some come nearby. Two Shib Poison. Now this has a passive and active effect. Shaco's Shiv passively poisons targets on hits, slowing them, and applies a mischance to minions. He can throw Shivs to deal damage and poison the target, which will also slow them. Shaco creates an illusion for himself. This is Sultan, sorry. Shaco creates an illusion of himself near him, which can attack nearby enemies, dealing half damage to turrets. Upon death, it explodes, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Next, I'm going to move on to the masteries that I'm using. Now these are just the traditional kind of AD jungle uh, masteries that you'll be using. Taking Butcher, Brute Force, Alaricity, Weapon Expertise, Summoner's Resolved, obviously for the for the gold, Tough Skin, Bladed Armor, and just I'm just kind of going over the important ones. Runic Affinity and Summoner's Insight. Uh, the reason why I take all these, obviously, is for faster clear times and to have a bit more base health. And I do take Improved Recall because I do find it can be a lifesaver when they're coming to get you and you get out of there by just that one second. Now the ruins that I am using are my AD ruins. So as you can see here, I'm using Armor Pen Marks, Armor Seals, Magic resist per level uh, glyphs, sorry, and flat health quints. The reason that I use these, obviously, uh, more damage, more defense from jungle monsters and AD champions, uh, magic resist against AP champions, and this just starts you off with a bit of earlier health for ganking, and it's really good for Shaco in the early game because he's that's where he's really strong is early game. Okay, now moving on to the items. Items that I get are Wriggles. I did take the Movement Speed Boots, but these are largely your choice. Uh, as I always say in every video, boots are largely your choice and you want to pick catering to the uh, enemy team composition. The next thing that I am getting is Bloodthirster. This is totally crucial. Between this and Wriggles, you actually have really good sustain, but without these you have no sustain. And then finally, I get Black Cleaver. Uh, I would say this is your core. Black Cleaver could be replaced. See, the thing is, so you can get Yomo's Goose Blade, Goose Blade, Ghost Blade, which adds uh, attack damage, crit, cooldown reduction, and armor pen. All of things which are great. And I would almost put Yomu's Ghostblade above Black Cleaver only because uh, Brutalizer is awesome and Avarice Blade is a GP10, which is nice. And if you're in the jungle, um, GP10s are really strong. So I'd almost say that Yomu's Ghostblade put into this is your core, but you don't have to get it until later game if you want to kind of uh, get the most benefits out of this GP10. So where it comes down to for your extra items are your options are black cleaver infinity edge or um, I don't know why I'm spreading the name of that right now um, sorry 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 guardian angel I don't know why why that slipped my mind so that would be your optional items Obviously, with Shaco's Q, you are guaranteed a crit, and that is why I put this in here as an optional, because it's so strong on him. Uh, with a guaranteed crit, that already is going to do more damage. You can pair this up with Infinity Edge to do crazy amounts of damage. 
and between your between your marks and your almost ghost blade you're already going to have quite a bit of of armor penetration so you're mainly getting this for the attack damage and the attack speed which is which is nice for sure um, but I don't know if you're getting beat down then I would say go for Guardian Angel and if you're not then I would say get a Black Cleaver. If you're just destroying people go ahead and get Black Cleaver because if you're destroying them then obviously you're just gonna keep destroying them. And now I'll move on into the game and I'm gonna close this so it runs a bit better and I'm gonna close this as well. Sure I'd love to log out. Taking a second there and into the game. And I do have to turn the sound on as I had it muted for the uh, other part of the video. Now this is running to Summoner's Rift. really quickly. Uh, I'm not sure why it's moving. Is this irregularly fast? does seem to be moving a bit quick, but uh, that's kind of okay because the game is a very long game and I don't want to uh, be going through all of it anyways and I don't think it's really that fast. Uh, but it is a 50 minute game so I don't want to be showing all of that obviously because it's too long. You guys don't want to sit here through a 50 minute game and that's why I put everything in the beginning. So I will be taking off direct to cam to go over some basic things. Now the thing that's best about Shaco, of course, you'll be taking Jack in the Box first. And this is because for his early game, it makes his setup crazy uh, crazy quick to start. You can see that uh, it helps with camps by fearing, and on top of that, it does damage. Uh, as you will see here. So they get feared, and then it also, see, they'll attack, uh, they'll turn their backs actually and so you can see just how quickly he can do those first couple camps and go on to start ganking at level 2. Uh, now the skill order that I would uh, go by is your first skill is going to be W to get the jack in the box your next one will be Q and uh, just trying to follow myself here uh, your next one will be Q and this is mainly so that you can do this they don't see you coming at all and uh, you can easily flash in. Now this is me dying due to lag, which totally sucked. Uh, I was not happy about that at all, because I was like, sweet, got the gank off, and then my game just totally lagged out and I died. So, uh, I will be skipping over a little bit of parts just to make the video go through faster, but uh, I will be doing the commentary for the beginning of the game. So up top here we have Shen and oh, look at that just just switching over scenes here. This is this is ridiculous. Watch this. Runs out, gets killed by a minion, and I'm just like, why would you do that? Why would you run past the turret? I'm never sure why people do that kind of thing. Why they like to like just gamble? They're like, hey, I'm almost dead, but maybe I'll get this last creep. And uh, we never did end up getting Kale there, which kind of sucks. Ooh. Wow. And that's why I don't like Nocturne as a ganker. You guys say, hear me say that all the time, and it's for reasons like that. Like, he's just... I'm not a fan of him, because he can't really do... If you miss your Dusk Blade, it's like, what? You're not even really useful, and your CC just doesn't work. Um... Sorry about that, had a minor interruption. Um, yeah, so uh, I always do say that, but I guess he's going to be good in Season 3, at least for clear times, but uh, I don't know if I'll ever be it. I bought him originally thinking, like, yeah, man, like, look at this guy, he looks like a creep, and, uh, you know, he'd definitely, he'd definitely be scary to see him coming out of the jungle. And while his ultimate is really good, and the guy playing him does make great use of his ultimate, I'm not a fan of junglers that are good when they've got their ultimate like 
So, so what's the point? Kind of, I guess, is my, is my point, is like, great, you've got a jungler that's good every couple of minutes. That's really not f favorable in my mind, because, because then you're stuck with someone that's really only good every couple of minutes. I mean, he's pretty good in team fights and he can be tanky and stuff, but, uh, I should elude from that, because this is not a why I dislike Nocturne guide. So I will be switching to myself for a little bit, and taking the direct cam off. Uh, this is another good thing that I'd like to mention. Shaco is very good at counter jungling because of his uh, deceive move. It's pretty much a flash, and it's he, you go invisible for three and a half seconds. So it's one of the strong points that I feel with Shaco. Uh, I'm getting feared there, but uh, really not much coming out of that. But yeah, it is a big reason as to why I do prefer Shaco in the jungle. I wouldn't say prefer him, but uh, he's he is a really good jungler, and he's only going to be getting better with Season 3. Um, because of his boxes counting as pets, the jungle monsters will be attacking them first, which is going to be great now that there's no leashing. What's going on here? Yeah, we were, I was trying to catch Nocturne in the jungle there. Because, as I used to say, he is very good at counter-jungling and getting in, into and out of the enemy's jungle uh, with relative ease because of his Q. Oh. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm not sure why... Uh... No, I'm going for the back there because you do get the increased damage. Um, he's also very good to have blue on. He's one of the few junglers that I would say should uh, should get blue, especially especially when you've got an energy using mid like a Kaylee. Uh, it actually works out really well because she doesn't require having blue, and uh, it's just nice because he can spam his boxes. And uh, deceive is a relatively long cooldown. Like he, all of his moves are are around that kind of 10 second uh, area. So it's good to uh, to have blue buff on him. Um, so the skill order that you do get for him, and I'll see if I can open this. I try not to open this too long because it does uh, have a bit of a flicker effect. But uh, you will be getting up your E as much as you can, followed by your Q, and then finally your W. Because your W is mostly tactical, obviously getting your ultimate when you can. But uh, as you can see, you can get around the jungle very quickly, and I do like that about him. It, it's partially the reason why I do like Boots of Mobility on him, because he can have insane map presence, and it's one of the things that you see common in Shaco jungle games, is like, he's just everywhere, kind of, it seems like. Uh, especially with his Q, you can really create a heavy amount of fear tactic by uh, giving him speed because it does give the effect that, you know, you, you never know when you're going to get ganked. Now, this is Nocturne. I'm going to switch this to Directed. He did kill there. Uh, and this Nocturne, I will say, does make very good use of his uh, of his ultimate. But then going back to kind of the case in point that he, does, he did that at level 6. And, uh, and continues to do so whenever his ultimate is up. But that means that, like... I, my point uh, being that, that really you only gang you've got his ultimate. Now I will switch this back to directed now that I've uh, said a couple things about Shaco and uh, Nocturne just in his jungle. This lane's going rather well, Mouse Hard. I'm not sure what he's doing, he's just kind of wandering around the jungle. Uh, I do ha get a couple deaths to lag here, but uh, overall having a really good score. Oh no, that is not smart. When you see that circle, <laughs> sometimes I don't understand, like, I don't know. Maybe some people are new or something like that, but I don't entirely understand why some people... Ooh. And see, this is why I like Shaco. Like, they don't even, they don't even see you come in. And you know you can you can get a really huge amount of damage off, and uh, it's just really effective. And Shen uh, Shen does die here. That sucks. 
And I do try to chase Nocturne down here, uh, but then this is awesome. A Kaylee just <laughs> comes down here and just cleans up like a Kaylee does. Uh, getting her slow. And uh, just doing a really great job. I mean, she she technically kind of got a triple kill there, but I don't know why it came off as a double kill, I guess. Took too long, but uh, yeah, this, this Akali did really quite well. And uh, if you guys have noticed, I have increased the quality, so let me know. Uh, hopefully it's not too choppy or anything. It, it could be. But uh, I am working on improving my quality of my videos because uh, I would really like to kind of make a bit more professional content and uh, I've just been having I've been having a good time doing this and I want to make it uh, I want to make it better for you guys as viewers to watch and more entertaining because no one really likes to watch a bunch of boring video that's in bad graphics because a lot of people have been saying great video but my quality is a little lacking and it is mostly owned nice and uh, that is another reason why I do like Shaco, like the fact that you just jump from bush to bush there. Of course, people would be having sight wars in ranked games, hopefully. But, uh... And see, that's that's the thing there, like... That's what I hate about Nocturne and love about Shaco, is, uh... He's not a champion that's only good with his ultimate. And you guys will see, like, I play Udyr and I love him, and it's mostly because of that reason. Like a lot of the junglers I play, I like them because of the fact that you don't have to just have your ultimate to do the damage. And it's a big reason why I say that Shaco's a really great jungler. And uh, I'm sure anyone here that's watching this video, uh, if they've played the game enough, has been like, yeah, I've definitely been totally owned by Shaco because it happens and it happens frequently. And uh, he is frequently banned, so if you learn to play him well, and hopefully this video helps with that, you can definitely be a feared opponent, because it's not hard for him to get fed, and it's not hard for him to really land those couple of early kills. Oh my god, amazing ultimate. <laughs> uh, Nidalee, does, Nidalee does like to be a little too ballsy. But uh, that was a really good job by Shen there. He really picked it up on that ultimate. He could have saved her life had she been a bit smarter, but uh, she has no value for her life. Now this. Oh, uh, Diesel222. Taking my blue buff. Oh, was that like just by seconds? Just by seconds. Yeah, I did see him run away. And he like kind of taunts me. He's like, haha, lol. Bet you wants your blue back. And I'm just like, you son of a bitch. I'll murder you. Um, which I do. Not right here, but I get it, and I get my blue back, and then I'm like, yeah, thanks for holding on to that for me, you mother... Yeah, that's right, I self bleed that out. That's a uh, editing package right there. It's pr primo editing. I've done by myself. Ah, oh, this game is everywhere. Nidalee, I will say that one good thing, she nails them with those spears, like, throughout the entire game. Which uh, obviously is why people love Nidalee, because those spears hurt so bad. Going around here. Oh no. And Kale. Kale is a really, like, I've heard a lot of people, like, say, like, oh, Kale's not really that great. But, uh... Kale was the first champion I bought, so I'm a little bit biased. But, uh, this is me. I have such a grudge against this guy the whole game. And that's Nocturne trying to use his ult. Oh, no! Right here. Yes! I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna get my blue back. Mmm! Suck it, Diesel. Thanks for my blue, sucker. Anyways, yeah, that was, uh... <laughs> just had to get that off my chest. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, that was that was that was nice to kill him. Oh, nice. Yeah, but as I was saying, Kale, I like Kale a lot. And little trick that I have learned, I will pause this. Uh, well, not pause this, but take this off directed for a sec. Take it off directed first. Get off directed. So uh, him landing the kill there, and uh, he does a pretty good job. I don't usually like Kogma. I don't find he's that. Uh, 
competitive in comparison to other AD carries, but I will stop that for a little quick tip on Nidalee. So Nidalee, as you know, can jump with her cat form. Now, a trick that I learned by some pro Nidalee in a game that uh, was a total baller, you can... Oh, nice. Snipe. That was a beautiful snipe. I, seriously, Alex Dark Soldier 2, you were a little too ballsy for my liking sometime, but good job with those spears, because uh, you really pound them good. Uh, yeah, so my Nidalee tip, and I'm just going to ignore whatever's going on, is that you can use your little uh, cat pounce claw thingy to jump this. I saw someone do that and I was like, wow, what, really? But yeah, you can jump over this. And I don't think that many Nidalees, uh, well, I'm sure, you know, pro, pro Nidalees know. But anyone that's new to Nidalee, you can jump over that by using your cat, uh, your little cat Q, I think it is. So I'll be turning this back on to directed. And how far are we into this? 20 minutes. So I'm going to jump here shortly to uh, the last 10 minutes of the game as the video will be getting just a bit too long for my liking. Well, not for my liking. I could talk all day, but uh, I'm sure a little bit too long for your liking. Kog'Maw does make really good usage out of his... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that always sucks. Go to give him a compliment, and then and then that happens. Oh no! So see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know why he altered her though. See, and that is what I like about uh, him. Like, between having Flash, oof, I'm playing a little ballsy there. But between having Flash and your Q with Shaco, you can cover a lot of ground very quickly and just totally own people because they just don't expect it. Like, they don't expect you to be able to get from point A to point B so quickly. And it's something I really like about him. So I am going to take this time now, I guess, to jump to the end of the game. Well, not the end of the game, but uh, I'm going to say the last five minutes because it's a bit, uh, bit too long here. And I would like to cut this a bit short. So it'll be momentarily a little bit laggy. And I will close this. And this is just us owning their turrets. And it'll kind of get to show you the team fighting aspect of uh, of Shaco, which I do feel like is a very strong aspect. And I will check the camera on myself and take direct it off. So now this will just follow me purely. And so you can quickly see that, like, he can... I don't know, I love him for that. I like those champs that are really quick and can just get wherever they want, really, and uh, take people out, because it's a really strong thing to have, especially when it's kind of permanent. And he does have a very strong slow, which I find to be invaluable. Uh, like, using that in team fight to just signal someone out, you know, when they, when they get slowed by a huge amount, then... Uh, like, what are you going to do, really? You just kind of run away slowly, and then your team's scared, so they all run. And there's the explosion. That actually did really good damage. I didn't know that the damage was so high on that, but that took away half his health. So uh, you can actually use that R as kind of like a bomb, similar to Kog'Maw, by just running it in there. And, uh, what is going on here? I put the direct cam on. Too much, I don't think. We're just kind of running around their jungle. Shaco, I also will say, is really good at doing Baron, and for stuff like that. Like I said, like you can use your Q as a flash, which is a very nice perk. Like that's you don't get that on a lot of champions, but when you do, it's it's very strong. Again, just because of that mobility and being able to, like, the fact that you're invisible on top of it, like, that just says, hey, I can smite steal you all day, because you could technically Q in, smite steal, and then flash out. And when you do that to a team, like, that's just killer. Like, no one likes when that happens. And I think this is just them kind of getting finished up here. We're just clearing everything. And, uh, I'm going for Baron. Uh, oh. And Kale just... 
She does. <laughs> she gets away so much with that ultimate. And there you go. So, so you can see that slow. Like, it's just like, uh, yeah, you're not gonna get away. And I do just end up doing that so often. I don't even know where I am here anymore. Am I in the middle of this? Am I dead? I could be dead. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, ah, this is awesome. Epic chase down. Just barely missing him. And then Kaylee's just like, yeah, what's up? Uh, good job. Solaris, I think I pronounced your, your name right. You did a, a very good job at, uh, at fixing our mistakes and almost near deaths. And this this part's awesome. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Our, our minion waves just took out, like, the remainder of their turrets. Or, or is about to shortly. Because I think we were trying to prolong it for a little bit, because we were just like, this is too fun. Yeah, so pur purple team's just losing turrets to minions at this point, uh, so they're really getting beat down. Has been destroyed. And I mean, I was actually admittedly a, a little bit laggy in this game. Surprise, surprise, with my awesome computer. Uh, this is one thing that I also love about Shaco. You can just keep running around the back of the of the monster, and you will deal that 20% increased damage. And I'm pretty sure that your hallucination is affected by lifesteal. So you can actually solo. Like, some people I've seen them do it. You can solo Baron as Shaco if you get the time. Because, uh... You both have enough lifesteal to kind of sustain yourself through those hits. And so you're doing double damage, and it's just... I don't know, I really like Shaco. Ooh, my god, look at those spears. Those spears all day. But yeah, I do really like Shaco. He's probably one of my more favorite junglers, especially now that I've been playing him more. Uh, there's a reason he gets banned, I can say that for sure. There's definitely a big reason why he gets banned so often. Because his... His power of early gangst and just fear tactics and map presence is just amazing. And that's slow. Like, look at that. Like, just GG, you're not getting away. So, uh, I would definitely play Shaco. If you haven't tried him out yet, try him because he's only going to get better in Season 3. I actually feel like he will probably be a god tier jungler in season 3 because of the fact that uh, you know because of the fact that he's got those kind of quote unquote pets and with the new leashing mechanic being uh, well the lack of leashing I should say being gone and even just the the all the changes that they're making like none of them really affect him at all and that's why I think he's going to be great in Season 3. So I hope you guys liked this guide. Uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And I've really been appreciating everyone's comments and feedback on improving my channel. And it's really helped me out a lot. And uh, I just I would like to say thanks for that. Because I've been getting a lot of views. And it, it means a lot to have uh, the support of the community kind of backing my channel up. Even though I've only been here for a short amount of time. So I would like to say thank you for that. But uh, I will see you guys next time, and I uh, hope that really helped you out. And I hope uh, tell me if you like the formatting of this before I before I go. Uh, I have I did it once before, and I feel like I could have could have and should have kind of kept doing that for the intro. So for anybody that wants to just get that get in get out information rather than hear me commentate the game, uh, tell me if you like that kind of style and the internet uh, program that I use there to kind of show off the items. So, uh, yeah, give me your feedback on that, and I will see you guys next time.